first of all in installing the split rcd consumer unit we have to know what we need and then we have to select the correct size of brickets according to the need um, of the installation all right so this thing has come as a result of the series of videos i'm posting on how to do house wiring okay so we had to customize our own consumer unit to meet the need of the installation now in the previous videos i posted in the series i made mention that for the lighting circuit i'm going to use three breakers because i decided to divide the lighting circuit into two and there is also a bell circuit that i want to separate from the breakers that i'll be using for the lighting circuit then i said that i'll be needing one breaker for the socket outlet. Meanwhile, there is an intention to expand the wiring in future. And so um, we'll be including air conditioners and then electric cooker in future. So there is a need to make provision for extra circuit breakers to cater for the additional load that will be coming in future. Okay, and then we should also have a spare. I explained also that Though one breaker can work for all the lighting circuits, I just decided to separate them. And so, in effect, we are reserving some of the six amp breakers for future expansion, but for now, we can separate the circuit so that in case there is a fault in one breaker, the other breakers can still give light in a part of the installation. All right, so now, uh, this is the assembly of the breakers and RCD we are using. The next thing is um, we have to transport it to the breaker box and then we do the connections of the various circuits to their corresponding circuit breakers. All right, so this is the breaker box. And so we are going to fix this into it and then connect these various wires to their corresponding circuit breakers. So these are the main cables, live and neutral. And then this one will be our egg for the installation. Okay, so here, this assembly goes. Okay, so we have this first neutral. We connect to this neutral bar. And then this second one. We come all the way. To connect to this other neutral bar because we are using a split RCD consumer unit we have to provide two separate neutral bars so one will provide neutral connection for the power circuit and then one will provide neutral connection for the lighting circuit okay so these are the these are the various cables that are going to the various circuits in the wiring. So this is our power circuit. And in the arrangement of the breakers, we have the lower rated breakers here. That will be for the lighting circuit and then the bell. And then we have the breakers that will supply power to the power circuit arranged on this side. Each set of breakers are protected by an RCD. Okay. 
So our our power cables will now have to shift to this direction. And then we have one circuit for the lighting, another circuit for the lighting, and then this one is for the bell circuit. All right, so first of all, let's start with the power circuit. So that is our end connection our first circuit protective conductor here then the next connection is the neutral the neutral wire for the power circuit Then that connects to the neutral bar that saves the power circuit. All right, then the next thing is we connect the light to the power circuit. And that And that considering our circuit, I'm selecting the 16 arm breaker for those circuits. Okay, so fully done with the power circuit. The next circuit we target is the bell circuit. So for the bell, I'll be using this breaker and then the neutral will be connected to this neutral bar. This is dedicated for the lighting circuit. Then we take care of the neutral that connects to the bell circuit. And then the next circuit we we'll look at is the circuit that supplies power to the lamp at the porch. That connects to this particular breaker at the middle. Then we connect its neutral.
that comes after the neutral wire for the bell. And then our last circuit for this wiring is taking supply to the lamps in the sitting area and the one in the room. Then just as the others, we have each neutral also connected to the neutral bar that is dedicated for the lighting circuit. All right, so basically that is how you wire a consumer unit or a breaker box and then connect the various circuits in your wiring to the various breakers in the consumer unit. All right, so um, what we are left with now is to connect the main supply cables. So these two, as I said earlier, are the main supply cables. So we have to connect them to the main breaker in the consumer unit. Okay, so our first connection will go to the live connection. So our first connection will be live. And because we are using the same color of cables, we would have to do something to show which one is live and which one is neutral. So we can use this red to mark this particular one to show that that is our live cable and this marking should not be easily destroyed Alright, so if you want to have a clear understanding of how to assemble these breakers together with the RCDs, please check below this video. I have a full comprehensive video only explaining how to do this arrangement. And also, the wiring of this switch box is part of a series of videos I'm doing on how to do proper electrical wiring. So it began from the scratch, and then this is where we have gotten to. So this is only part of a series of videos I'm doing on how to properly wire a house. And so I've shared all the videos in the series under the description of this one. All right, so this is the last connection of our supply cable. That is the neutral. Okay, then we also take care of our head cable. Okay, so this is our main head cable for the whole wiring.
All right, so we are done with the wiring of the consumer unit. I'm going to end this particular session here, and then we'll continue in the next video. All right, so in the next video, before we start with the inspection and testing, I'll be working on these supply cables, and then I'll be showing how to connect the energy meter for this particular wiring. Well, in case you are new to my channel, I recommend that you subscribe and then stay connected. All right, so thank you very much for watching. Please, if you like what you have watched, do well to share with others to also benefit from it. See you again in the next video.